Yo, what is going on guys? It is Royal Stoners here. Welcome back to another video. How is everybody doing? Let me know down below in the comments. You guys know, I always like to know. I'm doing pretty fucking well tonight. I do say so myself. Um, I'm just over here chilling, you know. I'm in the mood to make a story time, fellas. I'm just in that type of mood tonight, you know. It be like that over here in Royal Stoner's laboratory. We be cooking up videos. We be mixing them up and whipping them shits up in a pot, my boy. But look, okay. Now, this video is going to be a re-upload, okay? Now, if any of you OG fans out there remember the story that I made called Friend Does Too Much DXM, then you guys already know this story, but y'all don't really know it that well because, you know, I didn't tell it that well because it was from a very long time ago and, uh... During that time when I was first starting to make story times, I wasn't really that, like good at making them so i would just zoom on through it you know and try to just tell y'all like as fast as i could what happened because i was really new to it and i didn't know what to do you know so we have to retell this story guys i also have a shit ton of other stories i gotta retell so be prepared for that boys but before we get into this story time guys if y'all have anything out there to smoke on smoke the fuck up right now guys light that shit up smoke it inhale it put it in your lungs put it up your ass boof that shit get high with me boys okay don't actually boof it but actually boof it you know but no seriously look guys also, before we get into the story time, go join the Discord, join the Reddit. We got all kinds of new social medias, guys. We even got a fucking TikTok. Like, what? Who the fuck would have thought that I would have ever got a TikTok? But it's okay. We got one now, guys. We also have a Snapchat and an Instagram. I don't know if I said Instagram already, but yeah, guys. Let's get into this fucking beautiful banger of a story time okay so guys i'm gonna give you all a little bit of a backstory a little bit of something you guys can taste and feel before we get into the actual story okay so look one weekend i was hanging out with daniel johnson and this old friend of ours that was actually named aaron his real name was aaron we're gonna call we're gonna just say his real name because this dude ended up snitching on us, okay? And he's not that cool of a person, like, anymore. I don't even know what this dude is up to nowadays, honestly. But, yeah, guys, all right, look, we were hanging out with Johnson, Daniel, and Aaron this weekend, right? And we also had another friend there chilling with us, too. I've mentioned him in another story time, and I forgot what I called him. All right, boys, I did a little deep diving, and I remember what we called him. We called him CJ, right? We were hanging out with Johnson, Daniel, and CJ, and Aaron, okay? You know, all the homies at the time. This was the beginning of, like, when we first started the group, okay? We had just started hanging out around this time, all right? We were, like, maybe a good two or three months into all of us hanging out and smoking in my fucking smoke shack all the time you know the good old greenhouse the place where i always smoke at but yeah that's where we would always chill anyways this weekend we were all riding around and talking and smoking weed right and you know making plays making moves figuring out shit to do and while we were doing this i was discussing to the boys ways that they could get high because they were pretty new to the scene of drugs right and royal stoners wasn't i was a fucking 15 or no i was 16 i was a 16 year old raging drug addict okay so i knew like every single possible way to get high at this point i even knew about fucking huffing like all kinds of different things but that's something else we'll talk about but anyways i was explaining to the boys how they could get high on dxm cough syrup and they were all astonished they were just mind blown we were i was sitting in the back seat of daniel's mazda it was a white mazda i remember at the time cj was beside me and aaron was on the other side and johnson was up front and i was explaining to everybody this shit like i was like look guys you can get high on dxm it's real easy all you do is gotta drink the shit all you do is get it from the store and it's legal you won't get in trouble for it and you trip balls and they were just all listening to me and amazed and they were just like what i didn't know you could get high legally and i was just like yes bro there's all kinds of drugs you can get high on legally and i was listing off drugs i was like benadryl dxm air duster fucking all kinds of research chemicals and all kinds of shit you can get high on legally and they were just shocked right 
but they were also kind of intrigued i could tell because aaron and cj both were just like bro i want to do that shit cj was like dude the next time we hang out we're gonna get some of that shit and when we pull up on you we're gonna be doing it and i was just like all right bro be careful with it though okay just be careful right you know johnson and daniel were never really interested in this shit they never really put partaked in taking DXM with the group like really ever I don't think Daniel or Johnson ever did that shit actually and Aaron was like I think 14 at the time and he should have not been anywhere near this drug and I should have probably not told him about it but I didn't really know Aaron was 14 until like after this had happened so it kind of makes it a little okay but not really but look I tell them about that shit, that day goes on a couple weeks later guys, or maybe not even that, maybe a week later actually, I think a week later went by, and I end up hanging out with the boys again, right, you know, they hit me up on a bright and beautiful sunny, sunny Sunday afternoon, and they're like, hey Royal Stoners, do you wanna fucking chill, and I was just like, fuck yeah bro, I wanna chill, let's fucking hang out, right, so you know, they pull up to my crib ski, and I run out the front door fucking excited as hell for what is to come and i get into the car with them the white mazda and immediately what gets shoved into my face is dxm bottles cj and aaron both have dxm right they shove that shit in my face as soon as i get in the car and they're like look what we did and i was like oh shit that's what's up man y'all tried it right i was like how much did y'all do that's that's crazy bro this is pretty cool i told y'all you can get high on it but they weren't high yet right okay so cj was like oh so i only took a half a bottle and i i don't really feel much yet and i was like well of course you don't because you only took half a bottle and i was like how long has it been right and they were both like it's only been 15 minutes and aaron just goes i've taken one whole bottle and i was like oh shit you're you've taken one whole bottle and he was just like yeah but i don't feel this shit he was like do you think i should take more right because both of them each had two bottles each they both went into the store and stole themselves two bottles each at least that's what they told me i'm pretty sure they didn't buy that shit because any person that's doing dxm doesn't buy that shit well i mean actually i take that back a couple people in my discord that do dxm actually buy that shit so no hate on y'all y'all are fucking dope i just wouldn't expect it because you know i i used to steal that shit bro and a lot of my homies used to steal that shit so it just is i just i don't know i I guess I'm just, like, not used to people, like, recreationally using DXM like that, you know? Because where I'm from, people don't really like that shit that much. But anyways, we're getting off topic. Let's get back into the story time, right? They're showing me this DXM, talking about how much they took and shit. And I'm just like, whoa, bro. Don't take no more. <laughs> and uh, CJ was like, no, nah, bro. I'm not going to take any more. But Aaron was like, bro. I'm not feeling this shit. I think I need to take more because, like, it's not hitting me. And obviously, it's not working, right? So, you know, we pull out from my house. We go driving off, and we're all talking and shit. And Aaron just ends up saying, you know what? I'm going to drink the fucking other bottle. And I was like, bro, do not drink all of it. If you're going to drink it, drink it just a little over half or just half, okay? And he was like, you know what? Fine, I'll drink a little bit more than half, okay? And he ends up drinking it and i'm pretty sure he drank way more than half because of the way he ended up acting later but look we're driving in this fucking car and we're just riding around you know just talking and listening to music and shit that's usually what we always did we would just ride around go to the skate park and just vibe and chill and listen to music and stuff it was always a great day and we had weed going at this point we had it in rotation while daniel was driving his mazda and it had been like maybe 15 or 20 minutes at this point while we were driving right and they start feeling this shit cj starts feeling it just a little bit right he's like oh i can kind of feel it a bit i'm starting to feel tingly and i'm just like yeah that's what you're supposed to feel man and he's like but i'm also starting to feel a little nauseous and i was like yep that happens too bro but aaron on the other hand he's over there at this on beside me in the car just in a corner just like not talking right and this is where we start to notice that aaron isn't really having that much of a good time this is where we're starting to be able to tell that something's going on and something's not really right with him he just is really looking sick at this point he doesn't really look like he's doing well so like i glance over at him and i'm just like hey bro you doing all right are you all right and he's just like 
I don't know where am I and I'm just like bro what I'm like are you okay dog and everybody's just like hold on hold on do we need to take you home bro are you good are you good and Daniel's just like dog are you okay do we need to call your parents and shit and he's just like guys guys hold on one second I need you to pull over because you know he starts feeling nauseous right and he has to fucking puke guys so you know Daniel whips his Mazda over to the side and we let this dude puke and he's just puking uncontrollably right like, I don't know what he also ingested that day, but whatever it was, it did not fucking go right with his stomach. Like, the DXM and whatever fucking bullshit taco or whatever he ate that day just mixed all together in his stomach and created a fucking volcano of DXM fucking throw up. And he was throwing up all over the street. And he's just like, I don't know what to do, bro. And his shit, and he's like, I'm burning, bro. My skin's literally burning. And I was like, bro, you might just be tripping, right? Like, you might just be hallucinating, bro. Your skin shouldn't be fucking burning, dog. I, I wasn't knowing what to do. I was fucking like, oh shit, he might be overdosing. And Aaron's just in the backseat with us crying, and he's just like, bro, I don't know what to do. I don't feel good. I'm burning, and my skin itches and shit, right? Well, guys, turns out what Aaron had was an allergic reaction to the DXM. He started breaking out in hives, and he started getting really, really ill. So, um, Aaron was not doing well, okay? We didn't know what was happening at the time, but later on we figured out he was having an allergic reaction. So, you know, he wasn't having the, a lick of a good time at all, right? We're all just trying to make this man feel better, but he's not feeling good at all, man. He's like, it feels like I'm floating in air, like, while he's fucking tripping and covered in rashes and hives bro and we end up taking him to his house right and around this time guys Aaron ends up announcing to the group he just wants to go home guys you know because he's just like guys I feel like I'm dying I'm sick I want to go home at this point guys Aaron had already had like three major puking events he was covered in hives he did not feel good at all he wanted his mommy boys he really just wanted to go home and probably go to the hospital or something i don't fucking know but i just remember this dude wanting to go home because he didn't feel good at all he literally quite literally said i feel like i'm dying and he didn't look like his normal self at all guys bro was kind of starting to look like casper the friendly ghost over there like no cap he was not looking good thing so we took him home and you know he got out the car we said goodbye to him we were like hey bro we hope you're okay man just get inside if anything happens call us bro so you know experiencing that fiasco of a fucking night guys we almost experiencing aaron fucking die that night and then we drive off after taking him home right and you know the rest of the night goes smooth okay it goes like fucking butter boys the rest of the night goes smooth it goes like fucking butter okay? so we're driving around smoking weed we're dancing boys we listening to music i wasn't on dxm at this point but i was about to be so look CJ just goes, hey, Royal Stoners, you want the rest of this fucking cough syrup I got? They were drinking Delsum, by the way. He gave me a little bit less than a, uh, no, 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 no. He gave me a whole bottle. I remember he said, you want the other bottle of cough syrup I got? Because remember, he had two, right? And he only took a half a bottle. So he had a half a bottle left for himself, and he gave me the other one. Because he was just like, I don't think I'm going to need the other one. So he gave that shit to me, right? And uh, later that night, I went home and you guys know what I did I took that shit man I drank the whole bottle and I stayed up all night tweaking on DXM and this was like maybe like yeah I'm I'm yeah this was a long time ago because I was 16 damn yeah but look I did that DXM I was feeling tingly warm happy fucking amazing right well guys two weeks go by at this point okay like i did that dxm that night i boogie woogied i had a party my guys but then two like not two weeks i keep on saying two weeks like it's always two weeks or something i don't know how much time went by but i get a call from daniel one day right he calls me and he's like no no, no. i get a call from daniel and johnson right and i'm just like oh shit they both got me in a call this must this must be really serious right so i get on there and i'm like what's up guys and they're just like aaron snitched on us bro and i was like what he was like yep aaron snitched on us and he can't hang out with us ever again and i was like what do you mean bro he was like do you remember 
because I had I had completely forgotten about what happened at this point. Okay, I was just like, what what happened? What are you, what are you talking about? He's like, bro, do you remember whenever he freaked out on DXM? And I was like, oh yeah. And he was just like, yeah. His 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 sister contacted me and was like, never hang out with him again, or we're gonna call the fucking police and have your ass arrested. So we can't hang out with Aaron no more. And I was just like, damn, Aaron's not a part of the group no more. That sucks, bro. I was like fuck all because of me man i was like all because i had to encourage the group to try dxm it was all my fucking fault and i felt like a dick for the next couple months guys until i completely forgot about aaron and guys that is the story time about my friend doing too much dxm and fucking snitching on us in the end but yeah guys if y'all did enjoy this story time, let me know down below in the comments. I love making story times for you guys. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe for more, guys. Go follow the Instagram. Go join the Discord. Go join the Reddit. Go follow the fucking Snapchat. And of course, guys, stay fucking stoned. I love you guys. Peace out.